In this video, we're going to use a derived table and an outer join to get the information that we need from the data. So what we want is a list of the users that have three or fewer registration, including those that have no registrations. So I'm going to start this by first just getting a count of registrations. And so to do that, we do a select statement and we put one value that we want to get so we can get one column and then we can count it. So we're going to count the user IDs and we're getting this from registration. And to get a count, we have to group by. So we're going to group by that same column that we got, which is the user ID. So if we just run this, we get a list of all of the user IDs and the registrations that they have, the count of how many registrations they have. So what this does for us is just provides the ones that have a registration. Notice that there's none in here that have no registrations. So there's no zero count here. And, and so we need to get this idea, well, how do we get the ones with no registrations? Well, what we're really looking for is all the user IDs. So we want every user ID and we want the ones that have a count. So we want to do a join between this table and this table. Notice that when you do a select statement, it returns a table. Our result here is a table. And we can join a result table with another table that's called a derived table. And the way that we do that is we just create an, a select statement. Select. Okay, select, and we can get the user ID. We could go ahead and get first name and last name because that's in that user table. We can get everything from it. And we want count as well. Now, uh, to get count, we're going to have to give it a name. Notice how there's no column name here. So we can say count as and give it a name. There's count. So now it will have a name. And we, can, and we can get that, right? And we want to get all of those values from, and here we're going to do two tables. We're going to do the user one table, join, and we're going to do this derived table. And when you do a derived table, you need to give it a name as well. So it has to have a name. And we'll for the name here, we'll do as, and we'll call it user count. And now it's a table that comes from a result, and it has a name. And it's given us a red line here. And that's because there's a user ID in this table and a user ID in the um, user one table. So it doesn't know which one. So we'll just go ahead and say it's the one from the user one. And now let's do that join. And kind of watch here, we've got 109 different records that have a registration. So if we execute that, oh, we're not finished. Just like with any regular join, we've got to do the on clause, right? So we, how are these two joined? Well, they're joined on that user ID. So user one dot user ID equals uh, user count dot user ID. And that's how they're related. Okay, now let's execute it. And there we go. Now we have them, well, all of them are listed now. We've joined it, so now we have the first and last name. But we still don't have the ones that have no registration. And that still isn't showing up. And that's because we're doing an inner join. And an inner join is the intersection. It's where these two are the same, where they have values in common. But we want to actually get all the users, not just the ones that are in the registration table. So here's a case where we want to use the outer join. And specifically, there are three types of outer joins. There's a left outer join, a right outer join, and a full outer join. And it depends which extra values you want to use, you want to in the result. So here's the left table. Here's the right table. And so you can decide, do we want everything in which table? Well, what we're looking for is all the user IDs in this table. So it's a left outer join. 
now it will take where they intersect plus everything in this table. So let's execute that. And there, now we're picking up all the user IDs. And if they don't have a registration, it's showing up as null. Notice this is different than zero. So let's go ahead and do the where, because we want these ones that have six and four and five, we don't want, we only want it if it's three or fewer. So let's go ahead and add the where. And this is where count is less than four. And run that. And here we're back to just having one, twos, and threes, and we've lost the nulls. And that's because when null is compared, it doesn't count. Null is not less than four. Uh, it's not greater than four. It's not equal to four. Nulls are not a number that you can compare. So they have to be treated in their own way. So we say, well, count less than four or uh, count is null. And that's how we access the, access the null value. We execute that. And there we have the result we're looking for. There's the list of all the users that have three or fewer registrations, including none at all.